Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One Piece Treasure Cruise video we are going to discuss what might be coming for the 6th annual French anniversary. We do not have any official news on it yet so this is just my speculation but it will be based on things we know and also on a timeline from the One Piece Treasure Cruise Japan server. You can also help in the comments with maybe something I missed so let's try and solve the mystery on what will be coming during the 6th French anniversary. Let's establish a foundation first for those that are also new to the game. The French anniversary is one of the two biggest events of the year for One Piece Treasure Cruise Global and normally it is a big sugo fest with some great events and rewards. We normally see it happening during the last week of July exactly like it happened last year. There, Sang's crew and Arlong crew made their debut in one of the biggest sugo fests in One Piece Treasure Cruise history. At the time, I think it was the best sugo fest we had ever seen, but now it has been surpassed. That's no problem though, because this year they can do even better. Or at least that is what everyone is hoping for. So far, we know that we will get a producer video from Yoshi before the upcoming French anniversary which makes me believe something good is coming. The reason I believe something good is coming though is because the only scenarios that we see producer videos is along with big things. We saw one last French anniversary with huge news about the best to go ever at the time and global first events. Then we got a producer video for the V3 Akainu, a global first legend announcement and also the arrival of Pirate Rumble. And then we saw another one during the World Journey events and the debut of Roger and Odin. All of these producer videos indicated something new and fresh for Global. Even for the Japan side of things, we saw producer videos for the new Versus Legends, specifically Kaido vs Big Mom, and also their 7th anniversary. Is the producer video 100% guaranteeing us a new Global First Legend or event? No. But in my opinion, they have to talk about something big to get players excited. You cannot make a video like that and just talk about V2 Magellan coming or a simple, plain and boring Sugofest. You have to talk about something big. They will definitely address the Japan vs Global timelines where they want to bring them closer, I guess. And in my opinion, if we do not see a Global First Legend, great opportunity for that by the way, but I digress. We are definitely going to see version 10.3 being announced. The bare minimum that will happen in that video is the 10.3 announcement. We should have seen the version already and for those that don't know 10.3 indicates stackable cotton candy, the meat storage for stamina refills and many other great quality of life updates. It's a huge update, it was announced during the Kaido vs Big Mom producer video for the Japan version and many players are waiting for it. Other than the producer video, we have officially seen a roadmap in a way for things to come officially from Bandai Namco a couple of months now, but none of these things on the screen right now have anything to do with the French anniversary. The French anniversary will be late July, probably the last week of July and everything here starts from mid to late August forward. So none of these things here will have anything to do with the French anniversary, I believe. Great to see them here, but they are not big events. They are different collabs or events slash rewards we have missed and we should have seen already based on the Japan schedule but they will happen later in the year. Let's now establish a timeline and see future upcoming legends and of course talk about which of them would make sense to debut during the 6th anniversary events. Right now we saw Ace vs Akainu come out for Global but a lot of people speculated that Ace vs Akainu would happen for the 6th French anniversary. Something that of course is not the case and their Sugofest made its debut June 24th and will end both parts on July 6th. That is a huge difference with the Japan schedule already. They made their debut on Japan February 25th, pretty much exactly 4 months earlier, but 
The Sugar Fest lasted for about a month, something that won't happen for Global of course, and had three parts, not two. That in my opinion is an indicator that they actually want Ace vs Akainu to take less time, so they can probably debut the next legend before the Friends 6th anniversary. The legend I am referring to is Vitu Magellan. He is a Q legend that actually came out March 23rd in Japan, meaning he should come out during July and probably after the Ace vs Akainu events are complete. His Sugofest was nothing special in Japan, it was a 7% legend rate, included two parts and was also a choose your own Sugofest, something that we do not really see in global. So I don't see V2 Magellan being our friend's anniversary, he's not a hype legend, and I also do not see him having a good Sugofest. The thing with V2 Magellan is that he has no rare recruits and no bats accompanying him and that is one of the big reasons I do not see him making an appearance during the anniversary as a debut unit. Moving on, then we have two new legends in one batch, Moria who finally gets a legend and V3 dual unit Blackbeard. Now these two legends came very close to V2 Magellan, not even a week after. They made their debut March 27 and the Sugofest ended April 19th. That means that if everything follows the Japan schedule, Moria and V3 Blackbeard will be our friends anniversary legends. You can see that V2 Magellan was not that important as a banner because during the banner's duration Moria and V3 Blackbeard released. The int units are actually a full batch, they have two rare recruits, it was a 10% legend rate Sugarfest, it included three parts and of course it coexisted with the V2 Magellan banner. Someone can definitely make the case that all of these three legends, V2 Magellan, Moria and V3 Blackbeard, will be included in one big Friends Anniversary Sugarfest, and I can see it happening, but at the same time, are these three legends hype enough and big enough or good enough to make players actually spend, buy gems, sales and so on and so forth? I don't really think so. I don't think we have three very appealing legends to make people spend in one of the biggest events of the year. Immediately after Moria's and V3 Blackbeard's banner ended on April 19th, a new legend debuted, it was the Fire Tank Pirates and their Sugarfest lasted for about a week. That means that they should come out in global after or even during the Friends anniversary mid to late August. This legend is a Kizuna legend, exactly like Sanji Pudding, so there is simply no chance that it will make our friend's anniversary, but it did have two limited rare recruits accompanying him. Now, the Fire Tank Pirates will come in a Kizuna Sugofest, so there is not really a lot of discussion we need to have over them. In my opinion, they can be very easily adjusted in the schedule. Moving on, we have Legend Bonnie. Bonnie is an int super type unit, made her debut April 26th, so after the Fire Tank Pirates, and her Sugofest lasted for about a month. Bonnie was actually a countdown anniversary Sugofest unit, of course leading to the big 7th anniversary reveal of 3 new super units. Bonnie is a pretty popular character, but at the same time I don't really see her having a standalone banner for the Friends Anniversary. And if we follow the exact timeline once again, she should arrive late August or in September. She's a pretty good unit and she did have 3 rare recruits alongside her for her bats. The Sugofest was 3 parts and 10% legend rate. And finally, to conclude the timeline, we have the three Super Sugofest exclusive units that were a part of the Japan anniversary. Of course, I'm talking about Lo, Luffy and Kid. They made their debut May 12th and the Sugofest was about a month, ending on June 13th. These characters technically should arrive late September to maybe even October in global, Quite a few players seem to think it can happen though. 
I mean of course Bandai moving these three super legends before or maybe even after V2 Magellan for the 6th French anniversary. I definitely think it is possible because they will 100% make a great French anniversary with those three units, very popular characters, very good units. But what will happen after the French anniversary? We will either get V2 Magellan, which I'm pretty certain he will arrive before the French Annie, but let's say he's out of the question. Let's say Mori and V3 Blackbeard come after, not a lot of people will care about them. Then for the Fire Tank Pirates, because they are a Kizuna legend, as I said before, they can easily be adjusted, so I do not think there is a problem here. And then comes Int Bonnie. Bonnie is pretty popular, and at the same time she's a pretty decent unit, so I can also see people pulling for her. It's not a huge issue if you bring these three forward for the French anniversary, but then maybe we can also see two months in one again for global so we can catch up to Japan more. If we see Lo, Luffy and Kid for the French Annie, then I can also definitely see Moria, Blackbeard and Bonnie in the same Sugafest or in different banners but with just one to two weeks difference. This Sugafest was a Super Sugafest, of course. It had four parts, one with all the legends and one where, of course, each one of them was available. 15% legend rate, three rare recruits available, their bats, and the reason I am not certain they will be our friend's anniversary is because if they are, then Bandai needs to make quite a few adjustments in events. For example, boosted lists, treasure maps, and other different events as well. Definitely not impossible, and they said in the letter they are working hard to close the gap between the two servers, but I have to say that adjustments haven't been the strong point of One Piece Treasure Cruise Global this year. In conclusion, I see three possible scenarios for our sixth French anniversary. Scenario number one, nothing changes and we get either V2 Magellan with Moria and V3 Blackbeard in one Sugafest, or we just get the regular schedule with Moria and V3 Blackbeard as the two featured legends for the French anniversary. That is the worst scenario that can happen, but it's Bandai, we haven't seen the best management in big events this year, so in my opinion, definitely possible. Can you imagine this scenario happening though? In the producer video, they will announce V3 Blackbeard and his hand as a dual unit for the French Anniversary Sugafest, one of the biggest events of the year. And will these two legends, or three legends if we include V2 Magellan, be appealing enough to players and casual players even for them to spend in the Sugafest? I just don't really see it. I see this really being a bad decision if it ends up happening. Scenario number two. We get Super Type Lo, Luffy and Kid, the three legends that were included in the Japan 7th anniversary. Forget Moria, Blackbeard and Bonnie, they will be released in the next month and maybe even that month will be two months in one, so the two servers can now have three months of a difference. That is possible, these three units will create hype for certain casual players love these three characters and even veteran players will pull for them just because they are good. And if the Sugafest is good enough, we will definitely see Bandai getting sales and people buying gems. Scenario number three though, because that might mess up the schedule a bit, is getting Global First Legend or two Global First Legends even. In my opinion, one Global First Legend with two or three new rare recruits is probably best case scenario. You give Global something fresh, something hype, you create a good Sugafest with a new character and finally after all these months we get something great for the French anniversary. Imagine if they announced in the producer video that we will be getting Zoro vs Kuma for Kuma to make his first appearance as a legend while at the same time we get a Zoro unit that will make tons of players excited to pull. 
I am definitely biased by the way because Zoro vs Kuma is one of my favorite scenes in the entirety of One Piece and to be completely honest I don't really think we're gonna get a versus legend that close to Ace vs Akainu. But a global first legend can be anyone, it can be a simple legend, a dual unit, a super type legend, even a super legend. So we can have a super sugo fest with Roger and Odin to appeal to more players that also miss these two units. A plethora of options of course if they decide to actually go with the global first legend route. In my opinion an exclusive legend for global can also come out pretty soon to the Japan server and we can also have some similar scenario to the V3 loss situation. At the end of the day we need the timeline changed, we need the schedule adjusted so we can have a hype friends anniversary. I can't really see much hype around V3 Blackbeard and Moria, I can definitely see hype around Luffy, Law and Kid and the same goes for the global first legend. If I had to make one prediction for what we will get during the French anniversary, it would be this. I think we will get super type Luffy, Law and Kid, the Japan anniversary units. And I actually have multiple reasons for this. First of all, they do not have to make a global first legend. The last time we got an exclusive global first legend was V3 Akainu with the release of Pirate Rumble. That was a long time ago. And if you want to count Roger and Odin, that's fine, but Japan also got them, so it wasn't really exclusive to Global. Now they need to make something more exclusive to Global. And with everything we have seen happening, or not happening, I should say, during this year, even though I think it's possible, I am not that hopeful that we will see a Global First Legend announced. Reason number two, they are very popular One Piece characters, Luffy, Law and Kid. Even the casual One Piece fan or One Piece Treasure Cruise player knows them and will most likely pull for them as well because they are super type units and they are very good. Reason number three, they have the last tap limit break ability, something that may be important to Bandai for sales because whales will definitely try to pull more than one copy of a specific legend just to boost the limit break ability. So that is a small reason, I don't really think it will be a huge thing, but I should mention it. Another big reason though is that if they move these three forward, then they can easier close the gap between the two servers. And the final reason I have for this prediction is that after moving these three to the French anniversary, September and October for Global won't just have random units. Japan got a lot of great legends back to back to back. So moving them earlier does not really create a gap of hype because Sanks vs Whitebeard will be very soon after them anyway. So they can definitely find units that are also very appealing to players without having Luffy, Law and Kid for after the summer sugo fests. And that's my opinion, I am really interested to read yours in the comments. Do you think these are the only scenarios? Do you think Luffy, Law and Kid are possible for the French anniversary or you have something else in mind? Please tell me down below. If you enjoyed this video, I thought about making something different, please let it be known with a like, I would really appreciate it. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more One Piece Treasure Cruise content. Thank you so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.